Ben Glenn. Kill it, kill it. The referee's playing advantage. There's a penalty to Bristol here. Yeah. Grindle using his experience there. One of the boys just trying to get up. Yeah. Didn't get the shirt number and he just passed it into him. He, he did, didn't he? It was deliberate. Yeah, you could see it happening. And they, it's interesting to see here now they've just refused to kick a goal and they've yeah. gone corner, a trend that they've been doing for the last few weeks. So, Yes, I spoke with Phil Western about that. He mentioned it in his pre-match interview. But with kickers like Robinson and Jarvis, you'd think they'd be perhaps taking the points when they could. You could see it as arrogance or a, you know, a sort of game plan to keep the ball in play. And yeah, to wear teams down perhaps. As Glenn Townsend took the line out well, it's another penalty for Bristol, Robinson to Short. Short drives into Riley, but Riley makes the tackle. Adam Darcy goes in to clear out, so the referee is playing advantage. Who again is kicking to touch on the far side. So the second kickable penalty turned down by Bristol. And they're going for another line out drive. Yes. That's a great steal. Darren Barry, superb. They went to Glenn Townsend again, but this time it didn't make it. Tom Kessel looks like he's knocked on at the base of that rug. A lot of Bristol supporters here. They come down the M5 onto the A30. Come down here and support their side. Who are riding high second in the table. It's a free kick to Bristol. Early engagement by the Pirates. And they go for a quick one. Glenn takes with his tackle immediately. Michidi passing it on. Pirates have turned this one over. Some great work on the floor. Away comes Alex Cheeseman. Makes a little bit of ground. And Kessel back to Craig Holland. And gets in a really good touch kick. That's a good confidence boost there. Bristol turned out two kicks a goal. Um, they refused to scrummage as well, they had a free kick. You know, if they were up on top in the scrum there, they'd have opted for a scrum again, but up to play quick, up to tempo, and we've, and we've matched that. So, a uh, good confidence boost there for us boys. It's been a good addition to the squad. Is he just giving way or something? I wonder what Shane Cahill's he's saying. He's saying he's hinging and just going yeah. down. Must have been the touch judge, I would think, because the referee was on the other side, so the touch judge must have said. But Cahill's certainly not impressed, and Robinson kicks to touch. On goes Glenn Townsend. It's another penalty coming for Bristol. The referee's going to have a word here with Chris Morgan, maybe even go to his pocket. John Meredith, the referee, the having a word with Chris Morgan, no who I'm not sure won't be too impressed with what he's got to say. But I'd imagine Bristol will kick this one. Well, we'll see. Uh, An awesome defensive set again. Yeah. Um, it's been a trend of ours. Yeah, that's good. That's a good sign. <laughs> yes. It's a good sign. Which Robinson converts. So. First blood of the afternoon goes to Bristol. It's Cornish Pirates nil, Bristol three. Pirates, I suppose, can come away feeling fairly pleased that they've only conceded three going. Yeah, you got it's, like I said, it's been a trend of ours. Our defensive set was, very, you know, good low shots, competing for the ball. I think you give a penalty away against Darren Barry there for not rolling away, but I thought he was quite pinned in there. But um, you know, um, we turned them over at times in our 22, so you know, it's good signs. They've taken that three points, so it just shows we're pretty stubborn and uh, tough to beat. So 30 metres out. Not. And he's refusing goal again. Again, they're not going for points. So Robinson kicks to the corner. It's a good kick, six metres out. Yeah, Cornish Pirates player there, I think that's Jake Parker actually. You know, you keep them out again, and uh, you know, it's only going to build mentally for, for us. Good line out ball for Bristol. And the 
immediately good defence by the Pirates. Get to Joycey. They're getting ever closer and another penalty. The arm goes down. It's a try to Bristol. Finally, their perseverance with kicking to touch and winning the line out has paid off. And it's a try. goes past the post so he fails to improve upon the try yeah, we're just stuck in a little bit of a rut here and we have a couple of mistakes uh, we've lost a kick, couple of kick battles so it's just um, trying to get a bit of possession get on that front foot uh, momentum does change so it's just sticking with it sticking to your systems and try not to dwell on what's just happened Penny Cook with good line out ball Grindel Robinson Picked yes. up by Kieran Goss. Has Kieran Goss got the pace? Yes, he has. He's been chased yeah, by Ryan Edwards. Right. Kieran Goss going under the post. Yes! <laughs> yes, he does. That certainly brought the crowd to their feet. Kieran Goss had the pace and he went in under the post. The boys numbered up well. I think uh, Tom Riley bit in and then Gossy was following, picked up the scraps. And he's got a set of wheels which he's just showed two quick wingers tracking him down. and. Good try, good finish. He was looking over his shoulder, making sure he's going to make it. Yeah, plenty That's of time. Exactly what didn't he even did. have to dive, lovely. <laughs> As you'd expect, actually, with a pirate skipper. So Angus Sinclair converts. And it's now Pirates 7, Bristol 8. Chris Morgan makes the tackle as it's picked up by Mitch Eady at the back. Good competition by the Pirates driving over the ball. And it's a penalty to the Pirates. Awesome, awesome. Great shot from Chris Morgan, awesome scrum. Um, Shane Cahill has got that caught airs in a world of pain. It's a good drive by the Pirates. Mitch Eady picks up and Chris Morgan immediately holds him. Another penalty to Bristol, Cortez. Robinson. Andy Short. Referee still playing advantage. Grindle, Robinson, Costa. Sets it up outside the 22. Referee decides enough is enough. Very very petty call this. Oh well, really no, he's going to give a play. yellow card. Coming in the side. Yellow card for Peter Joyce by the looks of it. Coming in the side of the ruck. I'd have to ask the question there. Why a yellow card? Um, it was an attacking opportunity. I know we've been warned previously, but it wasn't from the side. No. Um, Unless the referee had said the next infringement will incur a yellow card. He might have said Yeah, that. maybe. a line out to Bristol. Ross Johnson, former Cardiff player, has been at Bristol quite a long time now. And finds Ben Glynn. So can the seven forwards of the Pirates stop Bristol? So it goes to ground and they're going to have to recycle this one. But it's Lily, Mark Lily. Robinson, short. Ooh, gets through the first tackle of Angus Sinclair. It's Darcy, the fullback. Grindle again. Grindle digs in. Robinson. Knocked forward. It's been turned over by the Pirates. Ah, uh, no, the chance. They've got two quick men out there. Mike Pope. And away goes Craig Holland. Oh, unfortunately, an excited Gavin Cattle. That's a good breakout by the Pirates. It was a good opportunity with a couple of really quick men out there. Holland slices his kick to touch, so it's still in play. Ainsbury, 27-year-old, looks to break. Drives right into Holland, but he goes too high. 
offloads to Robinson, into short. Getting in behind the Cornish Pirates here, Bristol. Pennycook feeds Mosses in the centre. Grindle, Cortez to his fellow prop Lily. Grindle goes in to try and prevent Pirates stealing that ball. Darcy comes up from fullback. Pirates under pressure again. Chris Morgan puts him to the floor and battles for the ball. Cortez and Lily are there waiting and they drive it on. It's a penalty of the Cornish Pirates for crossing. Obstruction so, there, I think. so it's the hooker, Johnson. Douglas! Oh! oh Angus Sinclair. Oh, back. Referee says that was not forward. And with that, the referee calls for half time and gets a, a round booing. Well, that would have been nice if we scored that, wouldn't it? <laughs> You're getting quite excited this afternoon, I am, but, you know, I just think we're not getting quite the rub of the green with the referee. I thought that yellow card was pretty harsh, but like you said, we did give penalties away in the red zone and we spent a lot of time in our own 22, so you're always dicing with death, giving penalties away there. But um, I just think, you know, a couple of a little, a few calls here, here and there, I think we've been harshly treated, one in the scrum. I thought that didn't really, I don't think that was a knock-on, might be wrong. But we could take a lot from that. Uh, defensive effort, massive, um, you know, well executed, boys all working hard, staying in our chain as we do, and uh, yeah, boys can take a lot of heart from that, but we need more possession, because um, you know, them defensive sets do take their toll. So, five minutes played in the second half, Peter Joyce comes back on. So, Pirates back up to their full complement, which they're going to need, it's Ben Glynn with a good ball, Robinson. Robinson sees the gap, bursts through. And a long ball out to Darcy. Does very well to get down and take it. Good steal. Good steal, Alex Cheeseman. Oh, oh it's been... Yes. Uh, penalty to the Cornish Pirates. Missed I think uh, Cheeseman was a bit worried about the trail runner on Nicky Romson's inside. Was busy talking to his inside man and... Romson seized the opportunity, really. But a good recovery from Alex. Got back on his feet. You can see here how Robinson goes through a gap. It's the so inside runner. The trailing and yeah. So the kick to touch is sliced, so the Pirates haven't gone as far downfield as they sh would have hoped. Yeah, I think Nicky Ronson will be a bit disappointed with that pass. That was uh, that was a try. It would have been, wouldn't that it? That pass yeah. was on the money. Yeah. Good close up of the scrum there. Peter Joyce. Against Mark yeah. Lilly. Kessel feeds. Good scrum by the Pirates. Good scrum. That's good a scrum very good scrum. As well. good shape. <laughs> Peter Joyce does a good job there. About the third time we've had people standing up under pressure. Okay. We must continue to go so back to the to James pressure, Brindle. not stand up. Yeah. Obviously, you're running out of yeah. options to continue. Time on. Oh, through the gap goes Glenn Townsend. Held up by Michael. Kieran Goss. Robinson. It's Marco Mama. Long ball out. Oh, it's got back. Mitch Eady falls to his ground, falls to the ground. And Luke Eaves is engulfed by Pirates players but sets it back beautifully. It's probably Pirates ball, and the touch judge agrees. So a little bit of desperate defence here by the Cornish Pirates, but they're Black holding out at the moment. Yeah. But Bristol seem to be breaking the line yeah, a couple of times. Yeah, we just need a couple of, You say breaking the line, it comes again down to that line out. Um, like I said before, uh, we're setting up for an attack and then having to defend, turn over ball. So I don't know what's called there. Darren Barry didn't seem happy, too happy with something, so somebody's missed the responsibility there. So. Comes Mike Pope to play scrum half. Fatih Lofa against his former club. Fatih Lofa, good strength. Chris Morgan feeds on to Darren Barry. Come on, keep on. Oh dear. Not the best of passes, but it's nice, Jacey. 
Peter Joyce does extremely well. Jake Parker, Alex Cheeseman's there. Peter Joyce goes diving over. It's a good ball for Holland. Can he get outside his man? Yes, he can. Craig Holland going towards the corner. He's held up right on the line. The Pirates are there in numbers. Mike Pope's in at scrum half. Digging in to get this ball. Look at the short side. Pope's got it. You can see the ball coming back. Sinclair there as well. It's a yes! pass has scored. Yes! Not quite sure who it'll be. Kessel again. It's Kessel again. I think so. God, I, was, I could see it. That was yes, Tom. He's starting to pick up my trend from scoring a meter out. I think uh, that's my distance. That. <laughs> Isolate that last man in the defence who hinges in. Yes, Tom Kessel. Boom. Uh, he was Kessel. looking for about four seconds. <laughs> yes, get in there. So Kieran Hallett with his first touch of the ball puts over the conversion from the touchline. Much to the delight of the Pirate supporters. So the fresh legs are on. Game on, boys. And Bristol will conversion. chuck the kitchen sink at it now. by the Pirates but well set up by Bristol. Brayley digs in. Luke Eves, Ainsbury, tackle by Kessel. Oh, good offload. That's going to be Luke Eves. Kieran Hallett doesn't quite stop him. And Luke Eves with the fight back for Bristol. That's just what we, the Pirates didn't want. Kick to compete off Kessel, just drifted a little bit in midfield, but you know. That's a great offload. Of course, he's got to trust Kess to make the tackle there. Which he did, and that's just given him, yeah, just a good finish on Bristol. Uh, Kieran Hallett didn't quite have the, the bulk there to knock him into touch, which is perhaps what he was hoping to do. It's a very good kick as well from Adrian Jarvis. Making amends for the one he missed up there <coughs> at the end of the game there. It's a great strike. Yeah, that's yeah, right, a great yeah. strike. He was close then to be fair to him as well. He was, yeah. So Bristol back into the lead. Darcy. Darcy gets a bit of space. Yes, Tom Riley. Good tackle by Tom Riley. And Rion James is there as well, battling over the ball. And Pirates are going to have this one. And away goes Kessel. It's a long yes, ball out. Gossie. It's, yes. hey, it's Goss. Yes. Goss is going to score in the corner. It's another try for the Cornish Pirates. Yes, yes. Kieran Goss, set up by Tom Kessel. Great entertainment. What a great second half we've got. Peter Joyce does well here. Gets in and grabs the ball. And Tom Kessel comes away. What a pass to Kieran Goss. Pass. If I'd gone to any other support player, it would have been another phase there. That, that is a try scoring yeah, pass. Yeah. Just a simple run in for Goss here. Kieran Hallett converted the last try from Tom Kessel himself from this touchline. Can he repeat the trick? Yes, he can. He's done it again. That is a great kick. A great kick. Kieran Goss with two touchline conversions. Uh, Kieran Hallett with two touchline conversions of Kieran Goss's try. Pirates 21, Sorry. Bristol 15. Sorry, Kevin, come on. Just need to secure here and put the kick where we need it in the box and literally get every meter out of the kick chase. Yes, no. Ooh, Bristol have got that one. You'd have to say that's a fair call from the referee, I think. Yeah. 
Um, I don't know what's happening there. Where, what pressure's on Rob Elloway, but he, for whatever reason, he's not getting his foot he? back to strike. Whether he's under no. pressure from a prop born into him, I don't know the details of that. But uh, I know no, no. on your own bowler hooker's under a lot of stress. Fascinating game of rugby that's going the Pirates' way at the moment, and it's not straight. Yeah, we need to scrum. We need to rectify what just happened. See Robert Elway's beating out a few orders there, so. So that's been healed. Picked up by Morgan at number eight. Oh no, it's been knocked on. And oh no. Chris Morgan to Rion James. You can see what he's trying to do. He's yeah, let's give Chris trying to get meters from Rion, but. The pass perhaps just wasn't sympathetic enough. It was too high, yeah, it was. Retro coached by former Cornish Pirate Ashley Walkham. That's a free kick to the to the Pirates now. As a Bristol player puts his hands on his head in yeah, disbelief. Yeah, I don't know what that's for. Mark Lilly. I'm not sure what that free kick is awarded for there. Either push him before the ball's gone in or I'm not yeah. sure, he doesn't give any signal. So Kieran Hallett, he's got a Pushing great kick. does really great well, kick. of course chase, this Matt is Evans. now, Matt Evans does well to get up there and prevent them taking the quick one but it is Bristol ball. Nice to see Matt back in uh, the Pirates jersey, Yeah. he's uh, you know, uh, instrumental in what we do and um, you know he's a big voice in training. Kieran Hallett makes the tackle and tries to rip the ball away. Let's go, Shane! Pirates down to 14 men, one of their players lying on the floor here. Yeah, James Hall. Hall. He's picked up a bit of a knock here, but... There's no holding on there. Say so Darren Barry, is it? Yeah, I think so. All yeah, right. So the 14 men of the Pirates need to hold out while Barry receives some treatment. Prop Mark Lilly on the hold far him up, side. Hold him up, pass him in. That's a ball, sir. That's a ball, it's got to be turnover. It's got to be turnover. Pirates competing for the ball. Yeah, what a great, a great turnover. Great set. That cheer is almost as loud as when the Pirates scored two tries this afternoon. There's some forwards out there putting massive efforts in now, digging deep. As we said about that spell in the first half, taking this toll. This is where it really hurts the last, last five minutes. He's had a massive game, Daz, in the loose, big defensive effort again. This is a replay of the Pirates' second that try. Is a great pass. He's seen the winger biting in. So Darren Barry comes off this side of the field. So Neil Patrick come back on, I presume. Uh, I don't know if you can do that. There's somebody even packed down. So, so we, I think we have a man down on the scrum here. So you can bring on a replacement anyway, can't you? Unless we've used all our forwards and not John sure. Stevens not come on. John Stevens, yeah, I think he's on. He must be on there. Well, that's John Stevens, the son of Stack Stevens, Bye. former England international, well known in these parts, yes, making his debut for the Cornish Pirates in a crucial minute or whatever's left. Oh no way! Kessel loses. No. No Bristol way. steal it, Jarvis. Ooh. Brought down just oh, short into touch. Please be full time. A replay of that scrum as the ball is just pinched from Tom Kessel. Going back on. Great tackling by the Pirates. So the line out. Very well taken by the Pirates. So I hope we've spoken to the referee and Pirates know what ha what's happening how long there is left to get the ball off the pitch as the Pirates get ever closer to their line Pirates have got possession so and away goes Kessel yes good decision Matt Evans Keep Matt the Evans touch up the touchline should have doing? gone into touch Bristol have possession Tom Riley Tom makes Riley the tackle up again. Awesome. Pirates diving into the ball but Bristol side, still have get Bristol still have possession in front of the grandstand away go Bristol Braley. 
Luke Eves, tackled tackle by Rion James. Bristol drive it over, Brayley. Get through, get through, get through. He's holding. It's a replacement hooker, Ollie Hayes. Mitch Eady. Fullback, Darcy. Another Pirates player is down. It's been knocked on, picked up by the Pirates. Tom Kessel. Could that be it? It's full sign. The Pirates have won. What a fascinating game of rugby. Second half especially. The Pirates win by 21 points to 15. And a really excited Gavin Castle alongside me. Gavin, what are your nerves like? Oh man, I've just got a bit worried. We've got a bit loose here. Awesome opportunity for Matt Evans. And I just thought, just run into touch, get tackled into touch. But um, yeah, massive effort from the boys today. Defensive in the first half, you know, I think has won us that game. Um, Bristol played a lot of rugby, in fairness to them, but um, didn't break us.